Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. Over the last couple of days in our Take 5s, we've been talking about C.S. Lewis, uh, the great author, children's author, but also an academic, a professor in medieval history, a philosopher, a, a theologian, and came up with many great quotes and arguments over the years that have stood the test of time. There's also quotes from C.S. Lewis, sadly, that have been made up. Uh, I remember during the pandemic, I saw so many times repeated on uh, social media, uh, this quote, so-called quote from C.S. Lewis it was all about how things were going to be closed down by a pandemic and everything else, totally made up. C.S. Lewis never said anything of the kind. But uh, you know what? Sometimes when people talk a lot of sense, uh, others will then try and use them to bolster their opinions and falsely attach false arguments to somebody's name. Uh, so even the fact that people would use falsely attribute arguments and quotes to C.S. Lewis is not a reason for us not to quote him at all, but rather to look at his genuine quotes even more carefully, because obviously many people see his words as carrying uh, an authority and speaking a lot of sense. And for me, one of his great arguments that he shared was, a, was an answer to those who said that Christianity was just about wishful thinking. That people, you know, this would be an accusation by atheists. And remember, C.S. Lewis himself came to Christ as, from, as an atheist, as I did myself, by the way. That uh, he was an atheist, and yet he was so convinced by what he read about Jesus and weighing up the evidence and everything else that eventually he surrendered his life to Jesus. And at the time, he described himself as the most reluctant convert in all of England because he didn't, he was overstudying in university in England, he didn't want to become a Christian. Um, but he was convinced by the evidence that was in front of him as a historian, as somebody who was used to weighing uh, arguments and weighing evidence, he was convinced that the gospel was true and that Jesus was who he said he was. But he said, what about all these people, atheists, for example, who say, well, you're just making it all up. It's all just make believe because you can't bear the thought of just life going and nothing being thereafter. And so you've made all this up about heaven and hell and everything else out of wishful thinking. And Lewis came back with one of the answers that for, for, for me, I really love. And he said this, he said, if we were wishful thinking, we wouldn't think up something like hell. He said, if we were want to con construct something out of wishful thinking, we would come up with something where everybody is just forgiven by God, no matter what you've done and everything's grand and, and everything's going to be all right. He says, who in their right mind would really invent as wishful thinking the idea that people, including people we love, close family members, are going to spend all eternity suffering apart from God? Why on earth would anybody come up with wishful thinking like that? And, and I have to say that's a very compelling argument for me because I wouldn't wish that. I wouldn't. If I was having to design a religion, I wouldn't have hell in it. I hate the thought of people going to hell. I hate the thought of people being separated from God for, forever. Um, you know, that's horrible. I, and I, I struggle, but, but you know what? I believe in it. And I believe in it because of what I read in the Bible. I believe in it because of the evidence that I see. It's not wishful thinking. I would probably wish for something else. Now, you might say, well, why would God create hell then? If it's something nobody would wish for, why would you create it? And the answer is because there has to be justice. And I'll never forget visiting uh, the Holocaust Memorial uh, in, uh, in Israel, in, in, in Jerusalem. And I remember I was with a group of pastors and as we looked around that place and saw the humanity that was committed against uh, the, the Jewish people and against others that, because other people, homosexuals, Roma people, Pentecostal Christians, these were all persecuted also and put into concentration camps. But the, the Jews in particular were the target of Hitler's maniacal uh, hatred, a uh, maniacal hatred. And um, as we walked out of that museum, Another pastor turned to me, who I know to be a very compassionate man, and he said to me, I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I'm glad there's a hell. Because to great evil, there has to be a great judgment. Otherwise, the moral order of the universe would mean all, almost nothing. But wishful thinking? Oh no, wishful thinking, this is not at all. 
the whole reason why we embrace Christian truth, including the truths about eternity and heaven and hell, is because the evidence leads us that way. And I'm grateful for C.S. Lewis being able to point that out so clearly and uh, for the insights that he brought on that matter. Thanks for joining us for this Take 5, and I'd invite you to join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.